7 Ways to Grow Flowers Flowering landscape trees are the crown jewels of the yard. Perhaps no other plants, individually, can have as great an impact on how a yard looks in spring. Browse the articles to which I've linked below for information on particular varieties of flowering landscape trees. Pictures are included. Crepe Myrtles, Landscape Trees of the South A popular choice in flowering landscape trees for southerners, crepe myrtles have a long blooming period, midsummer to fall. The blooming clusters of these flowering landscape trees come in pink, white, red and lavender. The clusters appear on the tips of new wood. Northerners can sometimes get away with treating these flowering landscape trees as perennials that die back in winter but come back in spring. Trees Not all specimens with a weeping habit are flowering landscape trees, but this article looks at several weeping varieties that do bloom, headed by four types of cherry. Saucer magnolias the size and shape of the blooms are what suggested the common name for these flowering landscape trees. Want a specimen with a brilliant bloom as big as a saucer? Access information on these beauties here. Rose of Sharon Although some people think of it as a landscape tree, because it gets tall and can be pruned so as to have a single trunk, Rose of Sharon is in fact, a flowering shrub. The fact that it blooms relatively late, and for a long time, makes it a valuable plant for those looking to distribute their yard's color display throughout the growing season. Top 10 List of Flowering Landscape Trees and Shrubs for Spring This article features information on 10 flowering landscape trees and shrubs that brighten our spring seasons. Included are redbud, coolery pear and crabapple. Hawthorn, late blooming landscape trees. This article offers information on Washington hawthorn trees, which are perhaps most valued for the time at which they bloom, late spring to early summer. Many of the popular flowering specimens bloom earlier in the spring, and while their blossoms are pleasant sights for eyes sore from winter's barrenness, they desert us too quickly.